Hello my Owlets, I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to be popping in some fluff. And so there's a couple of things that I wanted to definitely do. And one is add my butterfly. Um, I, I had this piece that my dear friend um, Nancy Jo gave me. And so isn't that cute? She made me this. I think Nancy you made me this. But isn't it cute? It's that loop... Uh, ribbon that you can get. I've never bought it, but she gave me lots to play with. And then I also got this adorable paper clip. But I had this little piece here in my stash. And so I thought it would be perfect to make a little flower. And then I just also had this in my stash and I'm going to glue that in the middle. So I have that. I've got my hot glue gun going. I've got my stapler. I've got some pom-poms here. And then I also got this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree that I want to add some little tabs into my journal and then I also picked up these two today as well so I thought we could play along and add some cuteness to fluff up the sides of our journal and if you've been following me for a while I love adding this kind of stuff to my journal um, because it just gives it so much more fun little junk journaling I think I just heard a family member come into the house, which I did. Okay, so I'm going to add this cute little butterfly. Um, if you got the kit, there was definitely one in there. If you don't want to use both of them in one setting, you can take it apart, which let's do that. It has this little foam piece right here, and I just... That way you have two butterflies you can play along with. In this, you just can either use some Goo Gone or... I usually just kind of scratch it off and it'll come off. So save that for another page. And then I do like to kind of flip mine up a little bit. And you could always keep that little foam piece if you wanted to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. But I'm just going to put it right here with this little frog. Of course, it's raining, but did my journals need to make sense? No. I want to put a butterfly for well you know that actually would be there was a butterfly page in here let me see oh there it is okay to make it correct I'll put it right here I was also thinking that rainy page would probably be a really good page to add some um, journaling on so I'll leave that available but isn't that cute I just love these little butterflies and I like it too again because I am going to have lots of things kind of sticking out over on the edges so let's go ahead and make our little flower and we can just kind of pick a page um, I really would like it to stand out I also got some Chanel that we can Chanel stems I haven't played with these before I know that I've seen a lot of them make cute little characters with them but I thought this would be like I was thinking about making kind of a um, maybe a, a flower a leaf or something like that hmm I don't know maybe it wouldn't maybe I'm not really using these Chanel's correctly So I wanted to give an update on Pedro. Actually, Braz is my daughter. She said, don't you remember um, one of the ladies at her daycare she volunteers at during the summer, had there they had a rooster that would hang around and they named it Pedro. So she's like, I don't want to name it Pedro. So we kind of went back and forth and I said, well, we could name it Big Red because it's very... Um, red <laughs> or uh, I said what about Hank you know Hank would be kind of a cute one too so we're still on the fence I still seem to call it Pedro because it kind of just stuck with me but to give me give you a little update on him so again he gets over here and he doesn't know how to get back home when it gets dark so um, anyway this uh, the other day I called the owner and she came over and got him but she's out of town and so he was over here and he was fretting back and forth back and forth and um so there i went over to the fence line and it's and i there was a little piece that they had put there to i mean it was probably maybe 
three feet across and then of course it's the length of the fence and I just went over there and I and I took some wire cutters and I just pulled it back and he went doo -doo -doo -doo, and he went on his, and went to his coop so I was like well I just made him a little gate so now he can get back home I feel bad for him I mean no brains whatsoever to figure out and we have a garden area we call it the garden area we have an area that's like in the backyard and then we have this garden area and there's a chain link fence well he gets and he hops over the chain link he hops to the yard he hops to the the garden area but then he doesn't hop to the other fence do not know why but anyway so that and I don't think Pokey can get out over there he doesn't really go into the garden area that much but we're pretty much always with him I'm gonna put a big glob of glue on there and just stick it down like that Ta-da! Now I did look for this loop um, yarn and they do have it at I saw it online so they do have um, they do have that available online. I like the way that kind of turned out and then if I wanted to this is some um, some more Chanel I mean stems let's see if it's too contrasting. I should have saved a green leaf for down here. I could do that, but hmm, I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And then again, I can come in here and add some wording, and if I wanted to add some more different things, maybe some pom-poms or something like that, I can always do that. Okay, so that's a couple of fluffy things and it's getting it fluffed up. And then I'm going to come in here and add some pom-pom trim. So that that's one of the things I typically always do at the beginning of when I'm actually adding some pom-poms to my journal. Now, um... The hot glue gun seems to work, but keep in mind that you can always use the fabric fix glue too. Look at that bubble. Um, which I'm going to do. The only thing with the fabric fix, I feel like I need to let it dry a little bit, but I think it will be okay on this trim here. And then I'm just going to beat it down the side a little bit. And like I said, this hurls very well. Okay. And I always like to put the some sort of needle in there. I know people make um, really pretty. Um, my friend Elaine, she actually takes a um, like when you inject turkeys at <laughs> at um, Thanksgiving you can make those into bead, beaded um, and you t basically take that needle and you add I'll have to ask her how she did that again because I want to make me one so okay so the next thing let's add some ribbon I love this I've just picked this up and now I have some wide um, um, carrot ribbon somewhere actually I think I'm going to add it to this page that would look really really cute against that green pom pom but I'm going to use this to add the ribbon I've been meaning to go by I need to order me some more glue sticks that's my last large glue stick Ooh, hot. Okay. Doesn't that look cute con with the next to the pom poms? I think that looks perfect. Okay. So, and then I'm going to get this. I know I did sh did include like just a little piece of 
of um, material or fabric in everybody's kit if you ordered one. But again, this one I got at Hobby Lobby. It's three yard, not Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree. And you can either take the rib. You can either take the the wire out if you don't want. Sometimes I like to do that because I have poked myself. And so I just squish this back a little ways and then I just pull that wire out. So you can see it. Make sure I put it in the trash too. I don't want to get it stuck in the carpet. <laughs> or on the ground and step on it. Or Pokey gets it and tries to eat it. He was in my room the other day and he was eating on something. And I didn't get it from him in time. I just it scares me because I don't know if he's going to... I don't want him to risk not being able to digest something so now with the ribbon I'm gonna just kind of clip on here like that where I do one on one side and a piece on the other side and then I just staple and you can definitely do hot glue as well but I just add a little bit of staple oops I didn't staple that side I love my Tim Holtz. I think that's one of my favorite tools. So, and then you can always, oh, you know what I have? These little bunnies. These are so cute. I picked these up at Dollar Tree, too. And I always like to do something where I can cover up the staples. And so, I'm going to add this little bunny on there. If I would have seen these, I would have put these in the kit as well. They're just too 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 cute and they're padded <laughs> they're so fun and that way it just co covers up that staple Ooh, hot makes a cute little and then also on the other side we could always do something like give another carrot and put a carrot over there Sometimes in my journal too, if I if I'm adding that, I will just um, when I come over here, I can always just put like a sticker or something like that, just to cover up those staples. So when you're working, you don't put it in, grab it on your little feet, grab it on your finger or anything like that. See how cute that is? It's starting to get all fluffy. Okay, so I'm gonna add a, some of this ribbon here and just make cute little tabs. So I'm just gonna cut up couple of these and this is gingham ribbon I found at Dollar Tree I have ribbon you guys I love ribbon and uh, I try not to buy like I used to <laughs> because it just gets out of hand and but I've used it I've definitely have used up quite a bit throughout without buying any more so so let's go in here and add some just randomly I don't want to include it on my um, I don't want to include this is my envelope here which we're going to be making a big tag for that in tomorrow's video Maybe these are starting to get a little late because I did not pre make the videos. I basically have been making them as we go. So, so that's sometimes why they're being a little delayed on getting uploaded late at night. I don't know. It's just kind of fun to add little tabs here and there. This is such a pretty book. I do. This is just one of my favorite books. Do to do. Okay. Where's my orange? Speaking of orange, you guys, I colored my hair today. It's on Instagram if you guys want to check it out. 
I just I have been thinking about it for a while and I keep talking myself out of it and if I went and told my beautician what I wanted to do with my hair she'd be like are you sure <laughs> so I just did it myself to just do it you know <sighs> And I am, I'm very happy, but so far everybody's like, what? What did you do to your hair? What happened? But I'm loving it, you guys. It's something fun and different, and I think it goes well with my word. I don't know if I'll keep it, but I might. My word of the year is recreate, so I feel like I'm ready to, to just do something spontaneous. <laughs> Okay, so this particular one on this white page, I think I would hold off just because um, I'm probably going to add some background to that, the white page, and so I don't want to... Now, if you don't have a, a stapler, you can definitely do this with hot glue as well. I've done that, but it's looking, looking fluffy, so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to add a piece of this material that we used along the edging for a tab as well. And then I have one more larger, I'm looking over in my bin here, that I just gathered a bunch of different things. I have this large pink... Oh, see, here's some of the loop red, too, which is really pretty. I might use that on a, um, a tag tomorrow. But I'm wondering if I should put... I think I am going to put that on there. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to add this, I think, about the middle somewhere. Oh, and the pretty little spring daffodils. I don't want to cover up those butterflies too much on that back side, so about right here. Like that. it over so it keeps and again we could come in here with the flower or actually even this trim let's do that we're gonna double double up the or should I do it on this one let's see maybe I'll do it on this one so it's not so much clutter at the at the front okay and I'm gonna go ahead and do this this liquid glue Again, in one of the happy mails I got for Valentine's, you guys, I got a Chanel. It was almost like a wand and it had a heart at the end. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And that would be something that would be fun to put in here is a Chanel. Maybe make a flower or. this along the edge oops you know what we ran into is I'm gonna move it down just a tad bit because I'm right in the middle of a pom-pom I don't want it hanging there and what I might do would that take up way too much? Probably so. It's a little bit too wide of ribbon. I was thinking I could run it down the edge, but I'll just leave it as is. And as we start filling up our journal, 
we can play around with that. All right, you guys. Well, that is part of my fluff that I'm adding. I'm, let's add some these little eggs. They're little felt egg eggs, felt eggs <laughs> from um, Dollar Tree. So so cute. Like we can even put a little egg over there. And then okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, it's looking pretty fluff. Look at all the fluffiness. It's getting, it's starting to get, get some shape now to it where it's not so wonky, but. You know, one other thing I have over here that I thought we could add is I know I wanted to do some lace, but I may have to do that a little, a little bit later, maybe on the back side here. Once I get my, I need to still put a cover on the back. So that my, ooh, look how pretty that looks sticking out just like that. So I think that's probably what I'll do. Once I add a back side, I'm just going to pop this in here so I can find it when I'm ready to add it in there. Alright you guys, well go have fun adding ribbons and felt and pom-poms if you like pom-poms or ribbon. Did I already say ribbon? <laughs> Material. <laughs> Whatever your heart desires. So, Alright you guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.